whoever at Toyota thought back in 2012, 2013, it was a good idea to use these. I just want to holla at you. I want to have a conversation. You can see the interior. Cleaned it all out. Vacuumed everything out. We're taking a break from this. Not like fully, I'll do stuff off camera, but I wanna start something new, something fresh. Not something new, new, but I wanna start working on Lexi. She's just in the garage. She's sitting, she's okay. She drives, turns on, great. But as you guys know, I bought this car to specifically be a drift car from my friend Vante for a really good deal. And I think it's that time to uh, turn her into a drift car. I have a bunch of stuff in my room that I've been hoarding slowly and slowly over the last couple months to build this car and just looking for the right time. So we're gonna turn Samantha, Samantha's twin over here, Lexi, into a drift car. Now you may be asking yourself, how do I plan to do that? Well, over the next couple videos, I'm gonna show you no, we're not doing anything power-wise to the engine or anything like that. Um, everything else is just, everything that I'm gonna do is gonna be to make it the most comfortable drift car that I can make it for myself. Because the few times that I have gone drifting, one of the biggest things is for me is comfortability and, you know, being comfortable in the car, making sure that, you know, I'm comfortable. That's pretty much it. Just making a car that I'm comfortable with um, and building the car the way I want. Not doing anything engine-wise, but we'll do other things. Suspension, wheels, tires, everything else, the interior, stuff like that to get it to the point of where I want it to be. So I guess let's build a drift car. Uh, first things first is the interior. Now I have two seats, uh, downstairs seats, seat brackets and everything. Um, I have door cards for the car as well. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the seats out and uh, Hunter's gonna take them. Hunter's gonna take both the seats so I'll be able to put in the other seats. And then while I'm here, I'll just basically say, I'll be like, oh, well, might as well pull the carpet out since the seats are out. And if I pull the seats and the carpet out, then I may as well pull out everything else that doesn't necessarily need to be here along with the headliner as well and the pillars and everything like that. So definitely got my work cut out for me. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get it to where I want it to be, but I have everything, so it's not like I have to wait for anything. So uh, yeah, let's strip the interior today. Okay, whoever at Toyota thought back in 2012, 2013, it was a good idea to use these. I just want to talk. I just want to holla at you. I want to have a conversation. As you can see, so now what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to pick up the carpet and uh, roll it all into one. And uh, yeah, get the carpet out of here. All right, we got the driver's side, all the carpeting out. Everything, everything is out on the driver's side. Now I just gotta do the passenger side and then work on cleaning up the whole car and then take out the headliner. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Different shirt, different day. But as you guys saw last time, I pulled out the rest of the carpeting and interior I gotta pull out this. So the next, what I need to do is clean this up, start to remove the uh, headliner, all the pillars and liners and stuff like that. And then I will go through the car and remove wiring that is not necessary. Do my best to do it the cleanest way possible. I'm not just gonna cut wires and just say whatever, but like this, 
airbag light or airbag for the seat. Same thing over there. Um, fuel pump wiring, so obviously leave that. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but I'll have to figure that out. Um, hopping in the back of the car, we'll choose a kit that I would carry around in the car. This, we're actually gonna use this to cover Samantha's fuel lines, but I figured out a better way to do it and have my lines tucked up, so I don't really need that anymore. I do not know how people get headliners out in these cars without fucking up the headliner. Because, gee bus Christ, boy was that uh, tough because um, she was in there. But, headliner out, got that side out. Now I'm gonna pull out the whole airbag. I gotta pull up that pillar up there. I got this wire that runs down to here, this connector, so I'll unplug that, pull that out. Probably the same thing over there, so I'll pull that one out. So, uh, we're looking good. Trust me though, headliners out, pillars back there are out. So now I have all this, the mirrors and all that over there. Um, so next, really what's to do is, I gotta get that piece right there out on both sides. And then after I pull that out, I gotta get these plastic pieces off of the seat belts. And then uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, and then I'll go through and take my time cleaning out all the wires and whatnot. Um, but that's pretty much it. God damn. So, as you can see, the interior cleaned it all out, vacuumed everything out. I'm not going to start pulling some of these wires until I have a wiring diagram in front of me and I know what's what. But interior is pretty much clean out. And we are ready to move on to the next step of pulling the doors. So I'm going to do that in the next video. So if you guys are liking this series, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And uh, we're going to keep building the drift car. So see you guys in the next one.